Good morning, planet Earth. It is I, the OG GM, your guide to all the tabletop role-playing game news, weather, and general internet nonsense. It's about 8.30 in the morning on the 20th day of June, 2022. It's 65 degrees and sunny here at Site B, and it's time to take a look at the bundles! All the freebies, bundles, and sales that are going up this week. Uh, remember, as always, A, these are PDFs unless I say otherwise, and B, before you download any of these, make sure you check them for viruses and stuff like that. That said, this week's freebies are quick starts. We have a quick start from Movidi Movidi bleh, Modifius for the Fallout role-playing game. Um, it includes a starter rules and an adventure. It's free. It's over on the Modifius role-playing site. And, of course, as always, these can always usually also be found at uh, uh, drive through RPG. God, I cannot talk this morning. And speaking of post-apocalypse, Lee Lime Prest has released a quick start for Salvage Union, a D20-based um, role-playing game about giant mechs. This can be found in the Lee Lime Press site and, of course, drive through uh, Bullets and Bluffs is a one-paged uh, standard Western role-playing game. Uh, it's available for free. It doesn't need any dice, and you can find it on the, um, I guess, drive through because it doesn't say who made it. Uh, Jared Lepold's historical postmortem Edgar Allan Poe edition is a GM-less journaling game based on the second guest system. Uh, it's available for free. GM list journaling role playing games. Well, you know what I think about those: uh, a journaling role playing game, or is just a creative writing assignment, and they want you to spend a lot of money to get their official journal when you can go to the ninety nine cent store and get the exact same thing: a book of blank lined paper for wait for it ninety nine cents. So solo journaling ideas are great for creative writing experience, especially during the summer. But it's not, I mean, I don't think it's a really a role-playing game. I don't know why, you know, just say it. This is a solo journaling creative writing experience. Why do you have to call it a role-playing game? Oh, because it occasionally involves mechanics. What are those the mechanics? Usually cards. And where do you get the cards? Well, you have to buy them from the company that made the solo journaling role-playing game. Because they're cards that are specifically designed. You can't just use a 52 deck of cards that you can get at a liquor store for a buck fifty. Oh no, you got to use the specifically. Yeah, these are stupid. Uh, another one is um, from Anthony Anderson has made a trio of subclasses for 5e. If you're not happy with all the 5e subclasses currently available, here's some more. I think the. Uh, I mean, I know all the races were collected in Mordekanans. Um I don't know if all the subclasses and thingies have been collected in a book yet. Uh, I know Satasha's had a couple of them, but I don't know if it had all of them. I would think that would be the next book that Wizards of the Coast is doing that is not campaign specific. The next Splat book would probably be, I don't know, we've done Tush Tasha's, we've done Mordekane, and we haven't done Elminster. Uh, so Elminster's Guide to Subclasses, I suppose, unless they can't use Elminster's name for some reason. I don't know. I'm sure there's a Drizzt's Guide to Subclasses. Uh, and Joseph Dyer has released a, uh adventure for 10th to 13th level characters called Baldur's Gate, The Rising Tide. It is based upon the Magic the Gathering Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate. It's a high-level adventure, and I, we've mentioned this before. Uh, it's got uh, Minx and Boo as a planeswalker. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, so if you want a adventure based upon Baldur's Gate, then the Baldur's Gate Magic the Gathering set, Joseph Dyer has done one for you. And it's over at the place where you can get all these. Usually these are always, as I said, available at drive through For sales! Roll20 has a package deal for all the Dian Diana Jones Award finalists. Haunted West by Chris Spivey. This bundle includes a digital copy of the core rule book and everything that has been written up for um, Haunted West so far. So congratulations to Haunted West and Chris Spivey for being one of the two role-playing games 
nominated for the Diana Jones Awards. Diana Jones Awards, of course, being the uh, highest tier, the most excellent role-playing games. Guess how many um, Wizards of the Coast 5e products were nominated for this year's uh, Diana Jones Awards? None. This is $85 for this because it's a virtual tabletop thing. Uh, the DMs Guild has a bundle of four different plug-in packages for Fantasy Grounds to add more stuff like monsters and uh, graphics and sets and whatever it else it is that are on bundles for plug-ins for uh, Fantasy Grounds and VTTs. This is uh, forty fifty dollars It doesn't say how many. Oh, here we go. About 250 new thingies, so new maps and stuff like that. Skirmish Publishing has collected several of their science fiction offerings. We have seven different supplements for multiple systems, including uh, Fallout, Salvage Union, Mutant Year Zero, and stuff like that. This is $3. Now we come to the charity bundles for Pride Month. ITCH.io has collected over 500 games for from LGBTQT creators for their career game bundles. All proceeds will be split evenly between the creators uh, instead of it going to a LGBTQT charity. Yeah, way to go, Ichio. Of course, we know we having some issues with Ichio for their very slanderous things they said about uh, some certain individuals. So I'm not actively supporting them right now, but if this is a cause that you're pa uh, passionate about and you want to give money to an LGBTQT um fund this probably wouldn't be it because none of the money from this is actually going to lgbqt it's going to the creators so there are probably plenty of charities and organizations you could give that money to it's ten dollars for this as always with these bundles especially the ichio ones you got like two or three games you actually might want and the rest are about you know uh, not so much and also from my personal experience with both of the ichio bundles i ordered Check it for viruses. Black Horizons Press is running a fundraiser for a pair of LGBTQT nonprofits featuring three of their games. Uh, so this is $15 for this bundle. And all the funds go to Basic Rights and Oregon, which is an LGBTQT organization. So see, that one's actually giving their money to LGBTQT support as opposed to just giving it to people. And they're often, you know. Uh, there's another one from... Uh, itch.io itch.io so this is to uh fundraising for the bundle to response to the mass shooting in the super that's going on right now so specifically the one in buffalo new york uh it's five dollars for this one uh it's got about 180 things on it and the funds go to black love resist or black Lives matters or whatever you want to call it there are not one but two bundles from mutant year zero slash the year zero system up at bundle of holding we have the um Starter Collection. This has got all the things you need to start a Mutant Year Zero game, and it's $10. The second one is the Advancement, you know, the Enhanced ones. So these are all the additional stuff that has been made for Mutant Year Zero. All the other games, all the other settings. That's the way these uh, bundles usually work. They usually have one bundle that features all the core books, you know, the Player's Handbook, the DM screen, everything you need to start. And the second and more expensive bundle has all the expansions and extra stuff. That's yeah, That seems to be a running theme we've seen in these bundles. So that's $20 for that one. Uh, Game Lords has announced a bundle for Traveler. It's $13 for this one. It is a ton of supplements for this, the classic RPG Traveler. That, of course, also on Bundle of Holding. Uh, we have a 3D printer bundle from Bun Humble Bumble. This has got a bunch of urban apocalypse type thing printed stuff. Uh, it's about $27 for this one. All the funds go to Make-A-Wish. Uh, of course, you need to have a 3D printer to do this. And again, since you're downloading files, check for viruses. Um, and that seems to be it for this week's bundle. So, and not a single mention of Satine Phoenix in any of those. So, whew, maybe the Satine Phoenix thing is finally over uh these are always a great way to get some free stuff or support a charity you might like or just get a bundle of pdfs for you know a small sum of money um generally i would say if there's a cause that you want to support 
just give the money directly to the cause. Don't, you know, unless you really need the 200 games on the bundle, which it's probably not worth it from my personal experience. I'd rather just give the money directly to the charities in, in question. But you be you and do whatever you want. Don't listen to me. Use your own mind. I'm an idiot. I don't even know why you watch these things. Till next time, I'm the OG GM. I hope you appreciate the words out of the coming out of my mouth. And if you do, please consider subscribing and helping me hit that goal of 1,000 subs. Till next time, get out of my post-apocalypse, you damn kids and you damn radioactive dog. Hey, that makes no sense. <laughs>